Hello and welcome. High stakes. Ah, I messed it up. <laughs> Try to seduce the fans. Hello, Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome to High Stakes, the channel in which you'll just slather yourself in steak fat and you'll become more attractive to yourself. <laughs> I don't know why I catch myself just staring like, <laughs> you were where, like <laughs> where is he going you next? You're so engaged. Where is he going next? What are we cooking today? Today, we are testing American Wagyu versus Japanese Wagyu. And we have two cuts. Dos. Two cuts. We got ribeye and filet. Personally, I enjoy the ribeye. More personality. So ribeye Wagyu? Ribeye Wagyu. Huh? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Are you confused? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bro, I don't know. I just eat it. I think I'm going to like American Wagyu because it might not be as... American. <laughs> <laughs> American Wagyu. He was trying to say Wagyu, but he was saying American at the time. <laughs> oh, speaking of Wagyu, we're not tasting beer today. Oh, oh no! We are tasting bourbon. I have a good relationship with bourbon. You don't have a relationship, and I'm trying to... Yes, it tastes like liquid wood. That's technically what it is. Yeah, it's been simmering in wood. Simmering? They cook it? Uh, <laughs> no, I guess that's not the right word. Brian has been trying to get me to try bourbon and whiskey, and like, I've tried it all. It all tastes the same to me. Well, what's the difference between bourbon and whiskey and scotch? They're all brown. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's not the difference. <laughs> I'm more of like a, like, Tequila and like uh, what? Gin. I have I have never seen you drink tequila. Really? Not once in my life. Maybe once, but that I can remember. Well, I'm, if we're talking about hard alcohol, I'm gonna go tequila probably first, and then vodka, and then uh, rum or rum before vodka. So yeah. next time we should try some Japanese tequila. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's do it. I like tequila. Interesting. Especially really, really smooth tequila. I mean, who doesn't like smooth? No, I really like the crap. <laughs> I really like the, the crap. Stuff that makes you want to throw up. <laughs> Should we start with some bourbon just to? Yeah, let's, okay. let's try let's it. it. Let's Ooh, try it. So excited. All right. See, my I think you like bourbon because you forget the way it tastes when you first take a sip because it's so strong. So you take the first sip and you're like, wait a second, have I fallen out of love with bourbon? And you take the second sip, you're drunk already and you forget that you don't like it. I am offended by that analysis. There are some bourbons that just make you want to just... <laughs> okay, but you have the good stuff. I have never had this one. That looks like it's from Costco. Because it had this little cap on it? No, suppose this thing is, I don't know where to read. This is Brecken... Breckenridge. He doesn't even know his bourbon, dude. I've never had this one. It is a blend. I don't, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm talking to them, not to you, because I think you don't care about what I'm saying. I care. Do you? Okay, so this is a blend. So this might be nice and- <laughs> Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Challenged me instantly. <laughs> I care. Yeah, no, I got it. Okay, cool. I just don't like the flavor. So this is a blend. So this, this should be a little smoother. And according to the- A blend of what? Different bourbons. Oh, different bourbons. Different bourbons. Not like bourbon and whiskey. I don't even know the difference between what's <laughs> bourbon. I just know it's from different regions, how you distill it, how much oh, alcohol, really? all that stuff. That's what makes it bourbon or whiskey. But then yeah. there's scotch, which I guess has to be from Let's, Scotland. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chat GPT this. Check this out. This is the best American blend whiskey. Okay. World Whiskey's Awards. Yes. Uh, what is that? Is that is that good? Okay, so I'm gonna ask ChatGPT because this is actually because I'm interested. Oh. Are you? <laughs> yes, I, I'm interested. You have a whoop. What's aura? the difference between dude an Apple and this? Watch? I know I'm trying them all at the same time right now intentionally to see which one's accurate. Wait, let me get one thing at a time. What's the difference between whiskey and bourbon? and scotch. Scotch. Whoa, that's so fast. Whiskey, bourbon, and scotch are all types of distilled alcohol beverages. Duh. Whiskey is a broad term that encompasses various styles and types of distilled spirits. It's typically made in fermented green mash, which can include barley, corn, wheat, blah, blah, blah. Bourbon is a specific type of American whiskey that must meet certain legal requirements. Scotch is also a type of whiskey that is made in Scotland. Mm. Fascinating. So it's all whiskey. They're just different different parts. See, yeah. wasn't that interesting? That's what I said. You said that? Not to that detail, but... <laughs> <laughs> Can you explain to me why the glass is broken? It's not broken. These are a gift from my wife, your sister. <laughs> oh, oh yeah? Is, is that, that who her she is? Hair? <laughs> See, look at this. It's broken. The way you're supposed to try these, you have to... Take a few quaffs. That's gonna make it so it doesn't like offend your mouth too much once you sip it. So you have to basically prime your palate yes. because it's so offensive. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> if you put it that way. Why is there a nub on the bottom? I just so can't I, get over that. So we can do the little twisty thing. It's like a fidget cup. Okay, now I like it. That's what I'm saying. Before you take your first sip, take you want to take a nice big breath in through your nose. Hold it. No, but no. Now here you have to get your nose, get it in there. Oh. Hold it. Take a sip. Then exhale. Gotcha.
<laughs> First one's a little rough. It's not bad comparatively to the ones I've tried before. I've definitely tried cheap whiskeys. Can you taste the Rocky Mountains? I taste like whatever you put on wood to stain it. Lacquer? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me they're not the same thing. It's not. Chat GPT. <laughs> Lacquer and liquor are two completely different. <laughs> okay. Bro, I'm that's, wrong. <laughs> that's good. It's okay. It's smooth. Oh, it burns a little bit on the way down. That's interesting. It's smooth in the mouth, that's for yeah. sure. The flavor to me is still just the not- The more you give it a chance, the more you like it. <laughs> See, this is exactly what I'm saying, dude. Only because you're already like buzzed. The first sip. No, no, it's because your mouth is not used to that. <laughs> I don't think he likes it. I think he's just, what is that thing where you're like kidnapped and then you fall in love with your kidnapper? Stockholm Syndrome with alcohol, that's Stop. this. Yeah, that's this. No, that's good. A little smoky, a little bit of caramel. <laughs> <laughs> it hits you when you least expect it. <laughs> Your face, bro. Dude, I'm so happy. This is ultra human. No, I'm so happy, bro. Me too, Ow. bro. What size? You got some chunkers, man. Uh, yeah, I know. What? It doesn't even fit on your finger. You're making fun of my finger size. So this is another wearable like the Aura. You guys know the Aura. It's actually a smart device. It's so fascinating. So this one is called the Ultra Human. And that one, to my understanding, pairs with a, a continuous glucose monitor. And so it literally gets your entire all your vitals. I don't have the glucose monitor. I'm considering it. Might as well. I mean, you have one, two, three, four, get the fifth. How do you know which one's accurate? Which one's... I don't know. That's why I'm trying all three of them But what right are you now. comparing it to? What's like that, that standard of this is the ac most accurate way and then this Whichever is one correlates with how I feel. If one of them says, man, you got great sleep, and the other one's like, you should really take it easy, and I feel like I didn't get great sleep, then I'm going to go with the one that says you should take it easy because that feels more accurate to what I'm experiencing. Mm. But I don't need That's any of these subjective. things. They're just interesting to me. Because I don't actually biohack. I'd be way more in shape. <laughs> no, what's the, what's the word? You're a modern, like, uh, Johnny... Cyborg. Uh, modern uh, Jack Sparrow. You know, he has all his jewelry rings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers. Let's try some Wagyu. Oh. No, no, hold it. I, Where are you dude, looking? I just got God rays on me. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Beautiful. Get that schnoz in there, bro. What a these are such beautiful trees. It is. Everything's green. Whoever's house this is. No, you're not putting your nose in there. You should be almost touching the Listen, liquor. where I put my nose is my business, all right? Yeah, that almost tasted like water that time. I think this is proving my theory. It's not even a shot. You didn't even give me a full shot? No. Bro, I'm gonna be honest with you though. My tummy hurts. <laughs> we gotta get some food in there, all right. Oh, look at these. These look amazing. Oh. Here we have American. <laughs> <laughs> I did it again! American. American Wagyu, and here's the Japanese Wagyu. Now look at the thickness difference. That, you can't even see over the plate. That one is peeking over. Why? I don't know. All I know is these look phenomenal. Fun fact, do you know what makes it American Wagyu? What makes it a fun fact? Because you don't know it. What makes American Wagyu? Bro, I You're can't not. say American. <laughs> All right, it's a cross between, they you breed. You didn't give me a chance. <laughs> All right, go. Look, it's a cross between, <laughs> between American cows and Japanese cows. What kind of American cows? Oh, the real Southern ones. The ones it's, that treat you real nice. I bet you if you think of it, you can probably tell me the name of the type of beef. It starts with an A. a you a, might know a. some people name this. If they're from the Midwest, if they're big and burly, they may be called this. It starts with A, ends with S. Aaron? Ends with S. <laughs> <laughs> Ertz. Andrew. Angus. Angus. You knew a person named Angus? He was a bowling ball of a like, Okay, so it worked out for him yeah. because no one was going to make, no, it, no no, gonna make no. fun of him for... No, he was one of those like crazy hey, ones. Angus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he growing up, I'm sure he got that. Behind his back, I'd make fun of him all day, but as soon as he was in front of me, I was like, that doing, speaks Angus? more to you than it does to... Oh, for sure. I talk tough when he's far away. <laughs> when did you know him? Was this last year? In college. Okay. Will he watch this and then come after you? Angus, if you're watching this, I ain't afraid of you anymore. Yeah, Angus. I got a mustache now. All right, so all we're doing is salt. That's it. He really knows how to use that salt machine. Man, it is toasty once that sun comes out. It sure is. I'm bacon. I'm beef. <laughs> That got me. <laughs> we really don't need to put any type of oil on the skillet because there's so much fat it naturally has. It just doesn't need it. We're trying on a steel, stainless steel skillet. I've never cooked on one of these. Wish me luck. I wish you luck. Super high heat, sear for about a minute each side. This one might need a little bit because it's a little thicker nice. and then a little shorter with the... Dude, I like your hair, dude. You've got such good hair. Thank you. Appreciate it. I would but... literally murder for that <laughs> hair. Maybe 
I murder you for that? <laughs> Where's Brian? I don't know, but you recognize it? How do you like my hair? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's dark, bro. That's the Silence of the Lambs. I've never seen that movie. Me neither. I don't even know if that reference is accurate. Yeah, that was actually a really good yeah. For all of you down in the comments who are roasting me about not liking whiskey, what whiskey should I try? That's what I'm most curious about. I'm sure we have some real armchair enthusiasts. I'll get here, I'll be back. I'm gonna get one. See, this is what I wanted. Okay. I wanted you to actually show me like what you- A good you... time? Okay. Show me a good time. I'll show you a good time. I wanted time. you to show me what you drink on the regular. Okay. This is fun. Hey. Thanks. <laughs> Love you, dude. I'll be right back. Love you too. So Matt, I've brought out some of my favorite ones. Beautiful. This one is Blanton's. I like that little top. It's got a yes. little racing. Now, of course. a friend got this for me. I didn't pay what you normally would have to pay for it. Gotcha. Thanks, Aaron, if you're watching this. What if he's not? That's just depressing. <laughs> these go for about like 200 bucks. Oh, really? For the bottle, yeah. See these tops? Yeah. So see there's an A right there? Yes. They spell out Blanton's. You can collect oh, all the tops. you collect all the and tops. And the horse is in a different part of its run. Oh, that's cool. So it's almost like the, 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 the? Yeah. 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 <laughs> You guys knew what I meant, though. You <laughs> laugh at me, but you knew exactly what I meant. Cheers. Tastes the same. Actually, this one tastes a little bit more... Smoky? Spicy. Smoky. Yeah, a little smoky spice to it. No, no, no. Just smoky? Spicy. Just spicy? <laughs> yeah, I would say so. Probably a little more spicy. Now, some of these, I'm like, I would never... It's not worth that much, but it's like a collector's item, so the... Price oh, you don't gotta talk about collecting to me. Have you seen my collection? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some sizzling going. Oh. I don't know if there's gonna be enough space for the other one. Oh, that already smells so good. Oh my you God. You smell that? This is the time where I just have so much gratitude. Praise the Lord for beautiful things like this. Yes. Cause that smell is just, it is is nothing short of divine. And these, you don't get that smell with other types of beef. Oh, just immediately, right when you put it, I was like, I remember my purpose. It's to eat steak. That's it. That's why I'm here. That's why I was made. I'm sad for the people whose purpose is just to eat celery. All right, I think we're flipping. We're flipping, baby. Ooh. Bro, that's hot. I think my fingers just burned. Do you want to kiss? You can't love celery as much as I like steak. It's just impossible. No one likes celery like, oh. Well, I mean, no one can like a vegetable as much as you like steak. I know. How I would agree. that even be possible? Oh yeah, I love eggplant. Love it. I love it. Okay, well maybe that's not the right. <laughs> maybe that's not the right vegetable to make a Ooh. proper comparison. But you know what I mean. Weirdos. Freaks! I don't know about stainless steel. This isn't getting me the, the crust that I want. Get rid of it. You wanted stainless steel? Mm-hmm. Why? Just trying it out? Trying it out, and that's what they kind of, oh, see, look, not too much fat on here. We can get a little too. No, don't, I want the fat. We're gonna keep it on here. How do you know when it's done? Time. Looks kind of hard. Yeah, it's about done. Why stainless steel over? Uh... Cast iron? Yeah. I don't know, to be honest with you. I just, that's, every, every time that I, we're about to. Why use stainless steel instead of cast iron? As an AI language model, I don't have the physical form. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start a new chat. I think it got confused. I'm cooking a steak. Why would I use cast iron instead of stainless steel? Using cast iron skillet for cooking steak offers a few advantages over stainless steel. Cast iron is known for its superior heat retention. ChatGPT is obsessed with cast iron. Okay, what about for Wagyu. When it comes to cooking Wagyu, the choice between cast iron and cast iron If you prefer a more precise, controlled cooking experience, stainless steel pan can be a better option. Assuming that ChatGPT even has any understanding of what it even talking about. Yeah, that sounds about right. Time to slap on that Japanese. Oh, look at that. That's rice. That's good stuff. Oh, look how Wow, look at that. Oh, man, don't overcook this one. Nope. Just a little sa, a little sa. Little sa, sa, sa. We're gonna go about a minute each side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, I'm excited. Even that rice looks good to me right now. Honestly, in the sun, get a shot of that rice. It's beautiful. Look at that shot of that steaming pile of rice. Oh, that smells so good. For some reason, every time I get a big whiff of that, it makes me rethink my life. This should make sense for your car. Oh. Wagyu beef. You'd oh. never be able to repl replicate this. It's like bacon. Oh, yeah. it's bacon flavored. No, it's not, it's death flavored. That's what they do, you know? Oh, bacon flavored toothpicks. You sicko. You yeah. know what it smells like? Like Victory. McDonald's french fries. That's All what it right? smells like. A little bit. Yeah, she's, she literally, she, she. Yeah, that like in my brain. But like, if McDonald's made like really gourmet, high class french fries, the smell of McDonald's french fries is pretty good. The taste is really good too. They're fresh. Probably the best fries. In and out is pretty close. No, In and Out, I don't like them. They're too plain, there's no flavor. In and Out, every time I get them, they're like 
I always get the dregs. I always get the little itty bitty pieces of them. They're always like, oh, it's this guy. Give him, give him, <laughs> the, give him the dregs. He's eating steak all the time. He doesn't deserve good fries. Oh, oh. yeah. I want to put that in my mouth. Oh, just give me a sec, bro. The way the sun's hitting down on this, it's just beautiful. Check out the Japanese Keng san. I don't know why I said it with the accent like that. Keng san. <laughs> trying to work on my plating, you know? I honestly don't care. I only care about just whether it's on the plate. Oh, look at that. Two little balls. I respect it. Okay, that didn't turn out as well as I thought. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, oh! Get a shot of that, Shawnee boy! American Wagyu. Mama. American Japanese. American Japanese? You got American and Japanese. Look at that. <laughs> I'm working on the plating, all right? <laughs> you like how so just funny the stiffest piece of meat on top of the <laughs> Am I eating this? Yeah, go for it, bro. Oh, the thick no. one is American. No, that's a. Ja <laughs> the thick one is That's uh, the Japanese. Okay. Mm, oh my goodness. Yeah? It's like a juice box of meat. Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay, which one? Oh, you just had the Japanese one? Mm hmm It's like my son eats. When he eats, he does this. He really soaks mm. it up. Anytime he's eating something. <laughs> and now I understand. Oh, there's a difference. Oh. Huge difference. Japanese. Oh yeah. Oh. Japanese is way, way more just like, it's like a gusher. That's, you know what? That's an accurate way it's like to- a meat gusher. My diet is meat and candy, all right? That's the analogy I have. You're being really uh, restrictive with passing out the steak here. I'm just giving you the best pieces that I'm trying to compare. Here's what I think. You disguised this idea of plating and just giving me less. Shh. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> I'm working on the plating. <laughs> Yeah, so this is American, clearly. I'm gonna eat this. That's better. Mm, that's the cap. Yeah. I always like the cap. Cap, very tender like filet. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm, mm, mm. Need a bit of that fat in there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know, the Japanese. I mean. Those Japanese know what they're doing. The rice does help balance out the richness a little bit. Mm -hmm. It does. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> there is no comparison, bro. <laughs> That's so good. I wish you guys could all taste this, genuinely. I want to share this with the world. Japanese wins this one. Oh man, it's so good. I lose words when it comes to meat. Good meat. All right, I'm gonna try a little bit of soy sauce dip in it. That's some of this good stuff here. Mm, bro, that Japanese like you. No comparison. Yeah, I mean, the American steak is very good. Still, it's nothing compared to the Japanese. Mm. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is why I do it. Right. That's a whole another level right there, bro. This is my peak right here. And it's not even me. It has nothing to do with me. I'm just putting it in my body. Bro, look at the fat in them. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Bro, that's phenomenal. It's very good. That is absolutely phenomenal. You took a little bit of soy. Not too much. You put too much in it, you just, all you taste is that soy sauce. It doesn't even need it. It's just a little splash of something. New. It just gives a little different flavor. Different personality. You know, when you want to feel different, you dress different. I never do. You always just wear that? I wear black. <laughs> Really? <laughs> Most of the time. On camera, I do. Why? I don't know. I just do. Interesting. Interesting. That you find is interesting. No, it, it just is. You're one of those. I don't dress in black at home and stuff. Because Amanda likes it when I dress hipster. Mm. I dress like a hipster for her. And that's called true love. <laughs> I'm doing this for you! I want to describe it more. Can't. I think you nailed it. Meat gusher. I remember Tanner described it in a really great way. It's like getting a hug on the inside. Warm hug. Like with the warm mm -hmm. electric blanket? Yeah. What, electric yeah. blanket? Yeah, they're warm. Kind of like a blanket by the fire. Warm weighted blanket. What is that? That's just pure fat. Oh, I don't want that. Just try it. No, I can't. Put a little bit of rice on it. I can't put it in my mouth. I can't physically do that. Bro, that is magnificent. Mm -hmm. The rice does help it a little bit tame its richness down a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah, yeah, it helps you eat more. Your vote, American or Japanese? Uh, American. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> That's the end of your paying attention. <laughs> I was like, excuse me? Why even ask me if you know it? The American is still delicious, but... I understand. Oh, I'm slowing down here already. We got mignon to go. I'll take another taste of bourbon. We'll move on to the next one. That's the good stuff, bro. Hey. That's the good stuff right there, That's bro. That's the good stuff, bro. <laughs> Before we move on to the filet mignon, USA versus Japon, we're gonna try a Weller's. Jason, thank you for getting me this thing. This is a rare bottle. Again, I have to preface it because I want y'all to know I didn't pay $300 Why plus. do you want them to know that? Why is that important to you? That's a good question. I spent $300 on this bottle. <laughs> 
No, because I realistically wouldn't want to spend, like, that's just a lot of money to spend on a bourbon. So you don't want them to think less of you? No. So, okay, now I'm that's a good. That's a good question. <laughs> this one's a little more, uh, a little more umphy. A little more umphy? umphy? It's a hundred. Umphy? Umphy? Oh, yeah, because umphy is not any different. Umphy? That's what I'm going to name my third child. Umphy. umphy. This one is 114 proof. What are the other ones in terms of proof? Uh, 90 and 85. I mean, how much proof do you need to, need to prove it's whiskey? That was good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I can't argue with that one, but this is Kentucky straight bourbon. Okay. This smells better. It's a really good one. I like it. It's got a lot of flavor. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. That has so much flavor. That's good. And it doesn't burn. That burn. Okay. Yeah. No, it doesn't burn. <laughs> it doesn't burn at all. Obviously, it's got a little burn, but it's not like, ha. <sighs> it's nothing like Japanese Wagyu. That's true. Where it makes you melt. It makes your spirit melt. This kind of like puts hair on your spirit. <laughs> no. This burns the hair off your chest right there. Yeah. The other ones, after you have like a sip or two, it, it's, it's kind of... Like you said, you said it kind of watered down. You're gonna need those in a second. Or? Yeah, in a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to beer existing. <coughs> right when I was taking a sip. Wow, that that's strong, dude. The, I told you, it's almost American. Oh yeah, you can I tell. Can tell. Oh yeah. gosh, look, look at that. that. How the heck am I supposed to cook this? You don't know? Well, look at that. I'm gonna cut this into three. Cause when it's too thick, you have to cook it too long. Then the outsides get too well done. See what I'm saying? Do you remember what I'm say? Yeah. American. Japanese. Japanese. Even if I were to do a blind taste test, you'd be able to tell. Oh, for sure. You can already tell by looking at them. One has so much fat and the other one has just all meat, all muscle. But it's tender muscle. Ooh, that's hot. What? What do you think? You got I'm, something on your mind. I'm feeling this one. It's different, for sure. If you put a little ice or on the rocks on this one, it mellows it out a little bit. But I want you I to imagine. taste its full, like... Full potential? Full potential. Right. It's strong. I'm gonna be honest with you, this mellowed me out. Just my natural self looks buzzed. But now that I'm like slightly, there's like a slight buzz, I'm like... You wanna know about my soul? <laughs> Bro, look at the crustacean on this one. The crustacean. Because these are thicker cuts, I can cook them just a little bit longer. The difference too is they're smaller pieces, so when it's that big piece, that flat piece, air gets in the middle of it, so it kind of lifts. What are you talking about? I'm genuinely, like, I, I kind of... <laughs> Usually, I'm off in another place. When someone starts talking to me, I can catch up. The whole time it looked like you were listening, and then all of a sudden you're like, I saw you snap back from wherever you were, you're like, what? Is there still one more that I have to try? No, I've tried them all. No, one more. Oh. Oh dear. I will say, this makes me feel warm. That's the word, and safe. And safe, you say. I feel safe. So look at the, the American one, it's sticking to it because there isn't as much fat on it. Yeah, I see that. Those look like just little continents. <laughs> we got Canada right there, eh? Hey. Central, Central America and Brazil. <laughs> Bro, what is it? What's, who cares? You know? I'm an American. I don't care about that. I don't care where you live. You live in the world, all right? That's all that matters. Are we ready? This ring just detected a short nap. <laughs> Bro. You're so chill right now. No, I'm going to be honest with you. I took a nap before I came. <laughs> oh, last one, Matthew. Okay. And why is this one special to you? Uh, I just really like how it tastes. That's a good reason. That's pretty much the only reason why. This one's a blend as well. Barrel Vantage. It's a blend of straight bourbon, whiskeys finished in Mizunara, French, and toasted American oak. Ah, toasted oak. My favorite flavor. Not too much of this one, because this one's also a strong one. Why don't they make alcohol out of food? I guess they do. Grapes. Oh, this is wheat. This is alcohol made out of food. It's typically made in fermented green mash, which can include barley, corn, wheat, blah, blah, blah. Why does it just taste like wood, though? It's aged in barrel wood barrels. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> Some loud taste one. noises. <laughs> I keep loud. trying to sniff, and I just keep sniffing for no reason because you're making me laugh now. <coughs> Bro, that burned my left nostril. I don't understand what you're doing. Too aggressive. You got to go. Too aggressive? Too <laughs> 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 Just, I didn't sniff like that, dude. I sniff a nice petite sniff. 
Oh, yes. Yeah, you cooked that well. No. Medium rare. True. Too true. Okay. What makes you cut it in such a way? I'm getting the center of it. So it's like, a, so we're getting the center cut of the filet. The way whiskey makes my tongue feel, feels like my tongue's spiky. Do you know what's interesting? Oh, aren't I might you? be allergic to You're it. You're allergic to apricots, aren't you? I'm allergic to stone fruit. I think this one's- Is this why I don't like whiskey? Is it aged in something no, I'm allergic it's not. to? Could be. Or it's just or the alcohol. Or it's just the alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the strong alcohol. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right. Thank you. I'm sure you can guess which one's American, which one's Japanese. Yeah, the, the one that's Japanese has, is this one? Yep. No? Yep. Yeah? It just looks like more fatty. This one just looks like muscle. Get you connoisseur over there. Which one are you trying first? Uh, Let's try American. American. Yeah, I don't need a fork. I'm just gonna put that in my mouth. Like it. it needs a little bit of salt. It needs a lot of salt. You know what's funny? I didn't salt these at all. I just realized that. I don't know why that's funny. It's kind of upsetting. It's not bad though. No, flavor-wise, it's pretty good. Definitely needs salt. No, 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 no. You gotta try okay. the other one without salt now, so it's fair. That should be how we always do it, right? That's an interesting idea. <laughs> it needs salt. That is good. No, there's no flavor to that. Is it just salt I'm tasting? Can I just go straight to the source? Just eat salt. <laughs> just eat salt all day long? No, but the salt enhances the flavor. That was plain, bland. It definitely was. I'm actually shocked. I'm in a state of confusion. I thought it would have tasted more beefy and flavorful and fatty full. Fatty full. Fatty full, that's a word. Yeah, yeah. I thought it'd be fatty full too. <laughs> all right, now we'll try it with salt. You still didn't salt it. <laughs> no, here, you salt, I don't know how much salt you want. How much salt do you usually Just put on? Just go ra, ra, ra. So three. <laughs> it looked so skillful that I almost felt like I couldn't do it. And it <laughs> ra, 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 And I'm like, I don't know if I'm capable of doing the ra, 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 ra. Oh. I don't like this. You stay, you do the, the, the food thing. I'll do it, I'll, I'll do, do it, I'll do it. Thing. Sure. Much better. That makes a huge difference. That's why I'm here. Oh. Why do we stare each at each other like deeply? I don't know, we lock eyes. It's an experience. <laughs> it's a connecting experience, you know? It's a vulnerability of eating expensive steak. Filet mignon or ribeye? Come on, ribeye. It's a beefier, a little more flavorful. <laughs> flavor. Up in my mouth. Definitely a lot more flavorful. Okay, so I vote, I mean, Japanese Wagyu wins hands down. Yes. And my favorite bite has been the cap of the ribeye. It's just so good. The mistake you make is thinking I'm here to entertain you. I'm just here to eat steak. Bro, I'm tapped out. Which? I would say the horsey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would say these are my, ah, Blanton's and the one we're having right here. It definitely gives me a different bodily sensation than let's say beer, right? This literally just makes me feel warm. That's it. There's really not a buzz associated with it. No, I would agree, like I don't feel, uh, I would say when I have bourbon, I don't feel like, I feel a buzz. It just yeah. feels warm, Yeah, don't comforted. you hear old stories of like parents giving like whiskey to, to a kid when they can't sleep? You know, on like- On their gums? Yeah, yeah, teething? putting on their gums or when they're teething or like just like a, a couple drops or something like that. So it like relaxes them. Well, because it's high proof too, so the alcohol yeah. whatever pain they may have kind of numbs yeah. it. It's not that crazy when you think about it. We're only made to think it's crazy because of like America and how they handle alcohol. Keep going, I wanna see like, where you're you going. Like you can go to war, but you can't have alcohol yet. Oh, that's, at 18. That's strange. And other countries, <clears throat> so I hear, you guys can tell me down in the comments below, genuinely curious. They don't seem to have such a negative, weird relationship with alcohol like Americans do. Like for instance, Americans, uh, you constantly hear about like party schools and things like that. And it's like, oh my gosh, I'm 21, now I can drink. And they just kind of go crazy with it. Mm -hmm. But like, I feel like in other countries, they're brought up to respect alcohol. So it's like when they're that age, they're like, why would I go crazy? I've kind of always used it. It might be different if you live there, meaning like maybe it is like that, but yeah. since we don't live there. But I'm curious, that's why I'm asking them. But I would say you always hear all the, like in German, like they drink beer for breakfast, lunch. Yeah, yeah. So it's not like a taboo thing, like you said. Yeah. I'm going out to school 21, ah! It's like, 
because it's illegal and taboo, then it's made to be something. And when you're finally allowed to have it, you have no experience with it, so you don't understand your limits or what it does to your body. It's like me and bacon, bro. My mom did not, <laughs> not give us bacon. Yes. <laughs> now you don't know what to do with it? No, now you're I just like, I gotta I, eat it all day no, long. No, I could eat, I could eat it every day. I went, I go, I can go overboard on bacon. That happens to me with candy. Same I'm not thing. I'm allowed to eat it. Really? And now it's like, bro. Keep it away. I got my own money to buy my candy. <laughs> I got my own money to buy my candy and I'll have it in every room of my house, mom. I don't though. Don't check. I think that was a really good episode. I would concur, but then again, we're the ones making it. So I'm not sure our opinion matters. What do you guys think? <laughs> I don't care. I'm just kidding. Rude. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> that you're feeling warm. That wasn't very I warm. I was feeling warm. No, I, I care, genuinely. Anyways, guys. Bye steaks. Bye steaks.